meteorologist Michael Fish. Hey, thanks a lot for being with us this evening. Now I know there have been a couple hit or miss showers and sprinkles. At least it wasn't snow, of course. Hey, you know, I have to talk about the chilly temperatures because still, you know, we run the risk of seeing a freeze, at least in Green Bay. Now the average last freeze is anywhere between May 1st and May 10th. You saw a couple nights ago that things were a little bit chillier. Now the latest freeze on record in Green Bay, June 6th. Now that was 1958. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm telling you the risk is still there. And you know, with our uh, really cold winter, that's just not out of the question. But don't worry, nothing like that tonight. I'll get to that in a little bit. 67, average high. How did we do today? Above that, look at the 70s, Milwaukee, Des Moines, Minneapolis. Now the problem with tomorrow is going to be we're going to see more clouds as the day goes on. Not only that, but if you live by Lake Michigan, our wind tomorrow out of the south southeast. So that's going to be cooling you down as well. Let's enjoy what we have while we can, right? Now it makes sense why Sturgeon Bay is a little bit cooler because we're seeing a southwesterly wind. But that's helping folks in Kiwani, Manitowoc, and Sheboygan County. Look at Sheboygan's almost 70. It's 70, Green Bay and Oshkosh. Boy, what a beautiful evening. Besides, of course, the heating of the atmosphere in this weak disturbance has kicked off these isolated showers. Now, this is what I'm talking about on our Viper HD radar. They are hit or miss. They are not widespread, but once we lose the daytime heating, those are going to go away. A larger batch of these showers moving out over Lake Michigan, but you notice a real hit or miss. So if you see them going through the evening, well, once we lose the daytime heating, these going away, and then we'll clear out the skies. Now, as far as tomorrow is concerned, this system going to get closer and closer. Now, the morning's fine. The afternoon, a chance of a shower or storm, better chance of storms as far as Monday night is concerned as that whole system gets closer with the warm front. But I said warm front. You know what that means. Going to be warming us up. Not yet. As far as tomorrow is concerned, still that flow coming off of Lake Michigan. But once we get into Tuesday, well, again, there's our Monday night showers and thunderstorms. Tuesday, though, we'll warm it up, but that still comes with the threat of a shower or a thunderstorm that we could fire up the heating of the day and that low pressure rolling on through. But tonight, any shower could end. So that won't be an all night event. As far as our skies are going to clear on out, no frost tonight. As far as Monday, chance of afternoon showers, 66 degrees. For your Monday night, showers and thunderstorms developing as the night goes on. That's a system getting closer and closer. A little bit on the mild side, 52 degrees. And then for Tuesday, warmer with a chance of thunderstorms. 75 degrees. Again, that's that system getting closer with a cool front. But that could be energy, of course, for some stronger thunderstorms. But again, too early to make that call. But it will be warming up. Now, after that, it cools down just a little bit, 70 degrees. If you live by Lake Michigan Thursday and Friday, it will be even cooler. The way it looks right now, Cassandra, next weekend, which is the holiday weekend, most of it is going to be fine. If you live by Lake Michigan, it will probably be a little bit cooler. But look at those temperatures. Not bad at all. Maybe a chance of thunderstorms late on Monday night. But otherwise, we'll be making progress.